Hello guys! The wet dreams of all air defense system designers and tankers and space engineers is about to come true. Today, the CEO of Keen Software House, Mark Rosa, on his blog released the entry title, Review of 2021 and Plans for 2022. In this article, we can read the brief summary of 2021 for space engineers, report on good AI progress, news about restructuring Keen headquarters, news about the pandemic situation, personal updates, and the part which is the most interesting for us, the plans for 2022. Not so long ago, we received a teaser and an article about upcoming Warfare 2 update revealing a railgun, new artillery turret, and a tracking system. This time we got some brand new screenshots showing multiple new blocks. After a short review, we can notice that in the upcoming update we are going to get a proper most likely long range cannon. As we can see, those presented on the screenshots are small grid guns. Does that mean we are also going to get additional armament equivalent for large grids? Or maybe presented guns will be a small grid substitute for the real gun. When we take a look at the side of the trucks, we can spot a new block. We can see the same block on the next screenshot which is even more interesting. On the left side, we can see a player made turret, which looks simple but amazing in my opinion. It is hard to say for sure, but it looks like there's no remote control, PV or gyroscopes installed on it, similar to the first screenshot. Because of that, I suspect that this new block on the front is responsible for the target tracking. This screenshot is also very interesting, because we get the first look at the large grid artillery turret. The model is very nicely detailed, the cannons seem bigger than in the small grid substitute. Does it mean they also use different ammo? That is likely, however, on the first plan we can see a few shells which look the same. The last interesting thing I spotted on the picture was the gun mounted on the back on a small rover. The gun itself is very similar to the 120mm light infantry mortar Spear Mark II. On the next picture we can see a large scale battle on a platform which looks like some kind of an asteroid outpost. There's also a new tracking block on the turret and another mysterious large grid block. I couldn't find any clues what may it be responsible for. It has 3 LCDs and a big red button on the middle. May it be a large grid tracking block? We can also see several tracers flying around and multiple ships most likely equipped in the new railgun. Can you spot anything interesting on the last picture uploaded by Merrick? Going back to the blog, the author claims that the Warfare 2 is not going to be the last major update this year. That means that we may still expect some exciting news from Space Engineers development team in the near future, such as improvements in the game engine. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get an update for the game engine. We can't be sure what does it actually mean, but any update for V-Rage engine is very welcome as it is slowly getting archaic. I am very excited for the 2022 when it comes to Space Engineers. How about you guys? As always, I'm waiting for your opinions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to hit the like button and subscribe for more.